Justin. Meanwhile, tonight, protesters will be out in downtown Winston-Salem again. Two separate organizations may wind up joining forces to march against racial injustice. We've got our Brandon Bates live downtown this evening. Brandon, we're less than an hour away from the latest gathering. What can you tell us? Well, nobody's out here yet, Brianna, but we've had protesters in Winston-Salem and Greensboro every night this week. This is where it's going to happen, right in front of City Hall. This is where it starts. Somebody came out earlier, left some water for protesters out here. Again, this is organized by the Black Lives Matter movement. Set to start at 6, go to 7.30 tonight. The big goal of the protest tonight, according to the Facebook event, is to demand several things from the city of Winston-Salem and Forsyth County. The first thing, protesters want all officers present during George Floyd's death arrested and a statement of support from local elected officials. Now, within just the last hour or so, all four officers have now been charged. It will be interesting to get some of the protesters' perspective on that developing news. The second demand they want is to release nonviolent offenders from local jails to avoid the spread of the coronavirus. The last two demands include a systematic effort to reduce routine traffic stops. Protesters say are unfairly aimed directly at the black community. People asking to hold off on local foreclosures and evictions. That is the fourth demand of the city and the county. Now, if you remember last night, protesters shut down Interstate 52 in Winston-Salem. No point did the demonstration become violent. The group here says that is not the goal tonight either. The protest held by the Black Lives Matter movement supposed to merge with the young Democrats of Forsyth County. That will happen shortly after the protest starts. Now, we will be out here all night bringing you the latest coverage as this gathering again starts at 6 o'clock tonight. It goes until 7.30 p.m. For now, reporting live at City Hall in downtown Winston-Salem, Brandon Bates, WXII 12 News. Thank you, Brandon.